And the Lord said to me, if you're going to do this bike ride, son, you better get your act and your attitude changed. <laughs> well, my act and my attitude has changed a bit, so I thought I'd better share that with you. There is a light. Something that Louisa said in her uh, devotional on the first night triggered that, and I think it was this thing about restoration. Because those in prison need to be restored to wholeness and to right relationship with God through faith in Christ. I needed restoration in my attitude toward people who have committed crimes. And I told her, I said, I am so sorry that you had to spend this time in prison. And she looked at me and she says, I am not, not in the least. She says, I found Jesus Christ here, and I probably wouldn't have found him elsewhere. And what he did here is he rescued me here. I can say that uh, I'm a missionary for, for more than 30 years, and I had the privilege uh, for the last two years uh, after pension uh, to be involved in the underdogs of society, people in prison. The most thing I've enjoyed this ride but this ride is the food. The food is wonderful. Like, it's like heaven here. Um, and Bike for Bibles has become sort of a holiday for our family because you're away from everything. You're totally away from the pressures of work. You're away from um, everyday stresses. It's really a, a, a thing that where you can come closer to God, where you're close to nature, where you have, and you get these wonderful speakers at night as well with things that you can think of the next day. I mean, it's my first ride and uh, people were wonderful, um, a true family outside of my own family, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Bike ride's great, it's been fantastic, the weather's great, um, I really enjoy it. The purpose is to uh, uh, to bring Bibles to incarcerated people throughout Canada and that gives us the strength and the power to cycle. The reason why I'm on this ride is because we have the opportunity to raise funds for taking the Bible to, to areas that sometimes we, we don't normally send it to. I've got a wonderful uh, story of a magnificent uh, person that I have such a respect for. His, his name is Paul. Powell in Afrikaans, and uh, uh, when I met him, uh, you could see in everything that he is so dedicated. He lives with the Lord. Now he is out of prison, and he is doing freelancing uh, spiritual work uh, with uh, prisoners. Uh, they uh, in the cells. Praise the Lord! It's been a wonderful ride, and particularly when we know what we're riding for the purpose. Uh, to get funds to get the Bibles into the hands of those who are in our prisons that they might come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior.